Now, the Conservatives in Scotland say the SNP is in total meltdown as the party is struggling to recover from the arrest and release of Treasurer Colin Beattie, as well as the continuing investigation into the party's finances. Well, former leadership candidate Kate Ford also says the party leadership needs to take decisive action on internal affairs. Let's go to the political editor of HuffPost UK, Kevin Schofield, uh, in all of this. Kevin, good morning. Good to see you. Uh, we're just trying to, to say, I mean, SNP, we just used the term there, being reported that it is in meltdown. How would you describe it? Yeah, I don't think that's overstating the case. Uh, the party has rather spectacularly unravelled since Nicola Sturgeon uh, resigned. And that was only a couple of months ago. Since then, they've had a bitterly divisive leadership campaign um, won by Hamza Yusuf very narrowly from Kate Forbes, who you just mentioned there. And and obviously since then, we've had the arrest of Peter Murrell, um, the former chief executive who's also married to Nicola Sturgeon, and yesterday Colin Beattie, the SNP treasurer. Now, neither men have been um, charged, they've been released pending further inquiries, but the optics of it is just terrible and um, huge questions uh, are, are still unanswered. And this is going to run for quite some time, I think. Uh, and just to remind people, this is all about donations, £600,000 or so, which was supposed to be earmarked for campaigning, for independence. And their whereabouts, as as we stand today, are not really known. No, that's right. So there was a, a, a crowdfunder um, appeal launch, I think it was 2017, um, in the expectation that there would be a second independence referendum imminently. Now, that raised round about £660,000. Now, as we know, there hasn't been a second referendum. There isn't one on the horizon. Um, but that money doesn't seem to be in the SNP accounts anymore. Um, now, the police were asked to investigate a couple of years ago as to where this money has gone. And now this investigation is really reaching a bit of a crescendo now as the police try to ascertain exactly what happened to this money. Now, the SNP obviously uh, insists that no wrongdoing has taken place, but clearly the police are still investigating it and we await uh, to find out exactly what they uncover. And Kevin, Kevin, how does the new leader come out of all of this, Hamza Yosef? I mean, there he is. He's inherited a, a real poisonous bowl of soup, hasn't he? Well, he's, he certainly has. I mean, the thing, what's difficult for him is that he ran in, in the leadership campaign as the continuity candidate, as the one who Nicola Sturgeon supported. Now, she never actually came out and publicly supported him, but lots of people round about her did. So he was very much seen as, you know, her anointed successor. Now, obviously, it's not a great look for him to be closely associated with Nicola Sturgeon when her husband has just been arrested and the party treasurer has just been arrested and there's all this controversy over how the party was run under her watch. Now, he's now trying to, to sort of remove himself from that and try to strike out as his own man. Yesterday, he set out his programme for government for the next three years, ditched quite a few of Nicola Sturgeon's policies. So he's trying to now distance himself from the, the woman who he said he was very close to. So it's very uncomfortable for him.